the first topic to start off with was your big match just recently at East versus West 10. And that was against a very, very formidable opponent, that being Zawier. So first off, bro, want to ask you, how did the preparation go for that? And how was the whole lead up? Were you uh, were you at 100 percent that day? Mm, so my preparation for Zoro was almost the same uh like uh, the same way like I was training for Morozov, everyday table practice, but uh, I was in much uh, better shape than the summer, and uh, everything was perfect. The plan was uh, going on, on time, everything, meals, trainings, and uh, I think that I wasn't on 100%. Because I can, I think that I can add more to my strength and to develop my body more. So say that again. So, you, you you were you were stronger. You're saying that day than you were. Expected? Yes, I was stronger than the than the summer when I pulled Morozov. I was much stronger, but I think that I can develop more my body and my strength more. Okay. I think that uh, I can reach higher level of strength, and uh, with time I will try to develop. To develop it more because I train now more, I have more try more time for trainings, and it's totally different way. No work and so let me ask you, brother, going into that match, how confident were you that you were gonna get the win? And was that the first time that you and Zawir ever gripped up? Uh no, this was not the first time. Uh we met each other two years ago on the world championship in uh Romania 2021. Uh, I played with him three times. One time on right hand, I beat him, and two times on left hand. We we had a left hand final with him, and I beat him also. So, so you, uh, I we had three times uh, three matches. And you're on the you were undefeated against him in all three matches. Yes, 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 yes. I won all of our matches. Now, did that play a role going into that match? Were you feeling confident knowing that you had those three wins under your belt? Yes. Uh, it's um, it's good to know that before you have beat the guy, the, the opponent, which you have now, and uh, this helps to, to be more confident. And it's good. It, the feeling is better uh, when you know that because you know the guy and beating him is very, very good. Very nice feeling. Now, very confident. How, in comparison, what you just felt at East First West 10 against Zawir compared to what you felt in 2021, what was the stronger opponent, do you think? I think now uh, Zawir was stronger because he was bigger. And, uh, you know, uh, on the professional matches, there is no top, doping control. In uh, in WAF, we are doping tested, and I think that now he was much stronger than before. It's my opinion, and uh, when I see his workouts with weights, it's uh, uh, he, he make much uh, stronger lifts. Now, let me ask you, bro. Um, now that you just pulled Zawir, where do you have him in the top ten? in the world is he in the top 10 and where do you place him of course he is in the top 10 because uh, in my opinion i think that he is the strongest guy in russia uh he won two times amc tournament he destroyed the uh, wall 18 uh, cif last time he was to wait him but uh, everybody knows that he had a biceps injury and surgery and it was too early for him and they hit a very difficult match on the final also. And uh, I think that top 10, Zor will be maybe fifth or sixth place. Maybe, okay. in my opinion. Well prepared, Zor is scary. He is very powerful. And for me, he has the strongest biceps in our sport. I, I have no idea who has more powerful biceps than his. Now, let me ask you, brother, because you were talking about um, doping and testing in uh, WAF. 
Now, do they test in the AMC uh, tournament? I think that there is no doping control there. Okay. No. So, so the athletes can do anything they want in, in that tournament. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They are not under WADA. And I think that uh, they don't have doping control there. Okay. Oh. December 9th, there's one more big main event match going down. And uh, that's going to be going down in Phoenix, Arizona under Greg Brown Productions. And uh, myself, I am going to be pulling against Ryan Grandin, a.k.a. Twinkie Boy. Guy is 320 pounds. I'm coming in probably about 198 pounds that day, but uh, feeling super strong and all. Been training like crazy for this. But uh, I just wanted to get your thoughts on that match, bro. Uh, you know, did I did I take on too much, man, of a guy? I mean, him being 320 pounds and all. Uh, listen, I think that his size will be problem for you because he's much bigger than you. But I have seen him arm wrestling, and if I compare him, his skills and level on the table with yours, you are much better arm wrestler. You know, you feel more the game, the the technique, the style, and uh, maybe I will give 50-50. Maybe a little more for you. Because uh, you, you are the better arm wrestler, you know. He's just big, strong guy. You, you must be clever on the table, not all the time the stronger one wins, you know. So I think that it will be an interesting match. I appreciate that, brother. And uh, yeah, just like you said, man, uh, I'm going to have to ninja him that day. I'm going to have to depend on my uh, arm to be wrestling very, technique. Yeah, you have to be very clever because he's much bigger than you. And yeah, and uh, just so you know, brother, about two weeks ago, I was at the same event as him in Virginia. And uh, <laughs> we got on the table. We didn't go all the way all at it, but uh, we definitely uh, pulled a little and uh I just went into his lane for a moment just to feel, you know, and bro, it was crazy. I, I, I know I can't fall into that lane. If I fall into that lane, it's going to be a long day. So uh, I'm definitely going to be playing my uh, my ninja techniques. I got a, I got a whole game plan set up. So uh, you, you have to be very concentrated to not make any big mistakes because one mistake and you lose the match. 100 percent. Yeah, 100 percent, my man. Well, I'm going to wish you and myself the best of luck on December 9th, bro. You know, your, your event will be on first. I'll be uh, watching that on King of Table. And then uh, we start at uh, 6 p.m. Um, mm -hmm. Eastern time over on Greg Brown's uh, YouTube channel. It'll be uh, completely free. There's like uh, 10 super matches going on that day. It's going to be a great day. And like I said, I'll be the main event super match. And uh, also, guys, I got some uh, sponsor opportunities I'm going to be uh, wearing a, a shirt where if you want to get your company on there, hit me up. I'll let you know the details and all. I'm definitely looking for a couple more sponsors before the match actually takes off.